Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and well, also welcome to those of you watching this video from Forbes. And uh, as you can see today, I'm going to be unboxing Gigabyte's X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. Uh, so we've been given the go-ahead by AMD and uh, Ball Partners today to unbox the brand new motherboards and processors for um, the Ryzen second generation launch, which is going to happen next week. Um, but today we're not allowed to show any performance numbers, but obviously, you know, with things like this kicking around, um, unboxing is just as interesting. So I say just as interesting because this board looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? I love Gigabyte's new color scheme, sort of silver, black, and orange. And um, this is a beast of a motherboard as well. Um, the CPU power circuitry up here, you can see these massive heat sinks kind of uh, surrounding the CPU socket there, linked by a heat pipe up here. And there's also an additional uh, eight pin header for the CPU power circuitry as well. So you've got the normal eight pin and another four pin uh, header down there, which is kind of interesting. So uh, gearing up for you know the extra power requirements uh, needed for Ryzen second generation CPUs. And um, yeah, this board just looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? So there's a whole bunch of uh, sort of new features here. So Gigabyte has introduced a uh, rear I.O. panel with an integrated uh, shield, so there's no need really to use a separate panel here. It's all kind of integrated, which is definitely going to save your fingers. And uh, a bit closer up, you can see that there are uh, plenty of USB ports there. There's six USB 3 ports, a USB 3.1 Type-A and Type-C, two USB 2, you've got Wi-Fi. And down here, I think you can see there's two buttons. One's a CMOS clear switch and one is a power button. Um, it's one of the very rare boards that you actually see the power button on the rear of the uh, the panel there um, instead of on the PCB somewhere. But it's actually kind of a cool idea because you know half the t you know a lot of the time if you're you know if your motherboard's in the case um, you know you might not have connected all the all the cables up yet. So you'll be it's potentially a, a useful addition. But you know it doesn't really matter uh, whether it's on the rear there or on the on the or, or on the PCB. But it certainly makes that rear panel look pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, You've also got two M.2 heat sinks, um, two M.2 ports as well. There's not a third one on there like you might expect from um, some other high-end motherboards. Obviously, Gigabyte's going to be crazy on the RGB lighting on this board. Um, another thing that's kind of crazy are the fan headers. Um, so you've got two up here for the CPU, the usual one down here, probably for your rear case fan, but then you've got three down here and another couple on the, uh, the bottom of the board as well. So if you've got a case with loads of fans, loads of pumps, um, and that kind of thing, um, you'll definitely want to consider the, uh, the X470 Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. Um, so I'll put that down for a second, actually no I won't. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about, which is the rear of the board. Uh, now I initially thought that this was a big heatsink, you know, sort of attaching to the rear of the, uh, the VRM uh, and power delivery circuitry, but it doesn't actually make contact with the PCB, it's just there for show and for protection, that kind of thing, and to provide the support as you can see for the uh, the flashy new uh, integrated um, I.O. shield there. So, now we will look inside the box. Uh, just to see what we get. It is an unboxing video, after all, I can't show any, uh, share any performance details. Uh, so you get the usual sticker pack. And uh, SLI bridge. A uh, desktop Wi-Fi aerial, always useful if you want to use the, uh, the onboard Wi-Fi. A couple of Velcro stickers, the usual M.2 screws and that malarkey. Um, you've also got some extension cables for the RGB lighting. And uh, you've also got one of these sort of thermal, thermal probes as well. So that's for tapping into uh, Gigabyte's fan control software and also your SATA cables. So not a crazy amount of uh, accessories in there. I'll certainly see more. Um, I don't know how much this all costs yet either. So. That's going to be something that you'll that you'll need to consider. Gigabyte's usually relatively keen on pricing, um, but to be honest, looking at this board, um, I think for many, uh, price will be almost beside the point because it does look rather good. Um, so that's it for the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. And uh, if you want to see my full unboxing of Ryzen second generation CPUs and the two other motherboards from MSI and ASUS, um, you can check out my other videos. I'd like to thank Gigabyte for sending me this sample and uh, you can check out my full coverage of Ryzen second generation next week. So make sure you subscribe and or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or over on Forbes. Thanks a lot.